Hi, I'm Colleen Kisselberg. And I'm Peter Kisselberg. We're, We're both, both crop, crop insurance, insurance agents. agents. This is one of a series of short videos on crop insurance. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the responsibilities that a grower has to maintain a crop insurance policy. All right, Colleen, we're going to start with records. Keeping accurate records. Think about your other types of insurance. If you insure a car or a home, the insurer knows exactly what they are insuring and for how long. They'll ask questions. They'll come out to look the place over. They'll find out who's the owner, what's insurable, where it is, how long it's to be insured. It makes sense that they want that kind of information. Now, crop insurance policies are often based on a grower's production or revenue. So how do we define that? We still need to know the who, what, where, and when, just like other insurances. So to help answer these questions for crop insurance, most policies have two major types of reports which must be completed each year, the acres report and the production report. These reports, which are based on your records, help answer the questions, what, where, and when. First, the acreage report. This documents what you're growing this year and where and when it was planted. For row crops like corn and soybeans, it's pretty straightforward. The acreage report lists what crop was planted, how many acres, in which fields, and on what dates. For perennial crops like fruit crops, you're working with established trees, vines, and bushes. Here the grower will list plant types, spacing, age, etc. Records are very important. If an adjuster comes out to view a crop, they can ask for your records of seed, fertilizers, pesticides, and such to prove that you planted and cared for that crop. The second major report, the production report, is your record of the crop harvested in the previous year. There are a number of ways producers can keep records for their harvest, like load records, scale records, daily harvest and sales records. It's important that these records are contemporaneous, meaning that they are recorded at the time of harvest or the time of sale. Production records will be used to establish your average yields. They become part of your historic averages and are the basis for determining your policy crop value. Now the entity is the named insured on the policy. Let's talk about the entity. This is the who of the policy. For your car or home insurance, the entity is usually straightforward. It's probably you or your spouse, or maybe both. For crop insurance, the who is the business entity that owns the crop. It could be an individual, partnership, LLC, or a corporation. It's important to have the correct entity on your policy. That means the entity that is responsible for the crop, that buys the seed, fertilizer, pesticides, and receives the payment when the crop is sold. Failure to have the correct entity on the policy can seriously affect your payment at loss time, so make sure that it is correct. And then there's deadlines. The deadlines to complete and submit forms for crop insurance are hard deadlines. Failure to get paperwork in on time can seriously affect your coverage. There's also a hard billing date. If the premium is not paid by the final deadline, insureds can lose the ability to insure their crop for the next year. Losses. Let's talk about losses. The grower must call in a notice of loss to begin the claims process. Generally, it is your responsibility to call your agent within 72 hours of when you notice the damage. If you notice a loss while you're harvesting, then an adjuster will need to see the damaged crop. In this case, you need to stop and call the agent right away to report the loss. The adjuster will call you and let you know what you need to do, and then you can continue harvesting. To wrap up this video, keep good records. Complete your forms. Make sure they're accurate and submitted on time. Make sure that your entity is correct and up to date. Keep an eye on your crop and call in losses as soon as you see them. This has been an overview of the insurer's responsibility for their crop insurance policy. I thank you for watching. I hope you'll take a look at some of the other videos in this series and remember to contact a qualified agent for more information. Thank you. Thank you.